Hi, I'm Mira from Floyd Mira, and this is my assistant Boki. Today, I'm going to take you to a class that I've designed that is appropriate if you have any neck issue, any bone issue, muscular pain, or nerve, as well as um, joint pain. And perhaps the traditional Pilates mat class is not suitable for you uh, because it has a lot of um, elements that lift the chest off from the ground, such as the chest lift or the hundreds. So when you're ready, let's begin the class. We're going to start standing up. All right, so let's find our stand. Now have your feet in a parallel position. Um, Feet are pointing forward, okay, softening at the knees. And I like you to really try to hold yourself upright as tall as possible. We're going to start the class with some deep abdominal, transverse abdominal engagement. So standing nice and tall. From the side, side view, I'm standing nice and tall and I'm trying to keep my spine sort of an upright, longest position in a neutral spine. Now here, we're going to start inhaling. Now, I'd like you to feel that ribcage expanding sideways. Now, as you exhale, I'd like you to think about drawing the waistline in and lifting that lower abdominal up at the same time. Inhale. Exhale. Drawing in and up. Again, in breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, wrapping in the waistline, and inhale, exhale, and inhale, let's do two more times, and exhale, wrapping tight, feeling that spinal column is being supported so strongly from that waistline. Last one, inhale. Exhale, we lift, we draw in, we're strong, and place your hands on that hip joint here. Now, staying tall again, I'm going to take you into some pelvic rocks here, so in breath. As we exhale, I like to draw that lower abs and take your pelvis into a forward tuck, a forward flexion. Inhale, release the pelvis into a slight extension or an arch back. Exhale, passing through it neutral, and then take a pelvis forward and up. In breath, release into an extension. Again, exhale. In breath, be mindful that your knees are still slightly bent here. Exhale, as well as stay in parallel position. In breath. Exhale. In breath. So we're just going to mobilize the pelvis to start. In breath. Last one. Exhale. Inhale. Come back to center. Now let's go over to the right. And center. And left. Center. And right. And left. And right. And left. And left. Two more sets. Last set. And center. Let's make some circle with the pelvis. So we're going to start tucking the pelvis under and forward. Over to your right and arching the back and over to the left and around forward. So we inhale, exhale. Just keep breathing with this movement. Try to keep the rib catch nice and stable. We're really just moving the lower part of the spine. And in breath, exhale, last one, exhale, back to center, over the other side. Tuck the pelvis under to your left, back and around. And in breath, exhale. Try to keep the movement as smooth as possible. If that's available for you today or keep working and practicing until this becomes nice and easy and smooth movement for you. Let's do two more sets. Exhale. Last one. And let it go. Straighten the legs. Okay. Now I like you to take your hands 
in this position. So cross the arms in front of you. If this is too challenging for you, you can also place your hands on the waistline, and that's fine. So we're gonna do some footwork here. I like to keep that shoulders nice and open and wide. Now again, your feet are still in parallel position. We're going to inhale, we bend the knees, keeping that spine nice and tall, really trying to work that corset muscle here. Exhale, straighten. In breath, nice and tall through the spine. Exhale, pull up. In breath, exhale, four more. Exhale, watching the alignment of the knees. Exhale, make sure the knees go over your feet and not going outward or inward. Extend, and I lost count. Let's do two more, and in breath. Exhale, last one, and let the arm go. Hands on your hips for the next one. So we're going to do a parallel on the toes. So we're gonna rise up to the ball of your feet, hold that center tight, and then go ahead and bend the knees as you keep the spine nice and tall. Exhale, a little tricky. So if you have a wall accessible to you, perhaps that could assist you. Whoopsie with this exercise. Exhale, in breath, and exhale. Try to keep the heels nice and high, holding tight in your center. Two more. I have to focus here. Last one. And rise up, hold, and lower the heels down. Okay, now we're going to combine them together. It's a little chucky. Again, if you have a wall accessible to you, you may hold onto the wall or a chair or something else that's nearby. All right, now we're going to go into the parallel heels, lower down, rise up onto the ball of your feet, lift the legs, straighten up, lower the heels. We bend the knee, we lift the heels, we lengthen up and lower. In breath, lift, exhale, lower, we bend, lift, exhale, two more, we bend, lift, exhale, last one, bend, lift, exhale, reverse, rising up, we bend, we lower, straighten, rising up, we bend, we lower, straighten. So we are challenging our core here and our balance with this exercise. And we lift, lower, down and up. Last set, lift, bend the knees, lower the heel, straighten up and let it go. All right, shake your legs a little bit more. Now, we're gonna go down to the floor. What I didn't mention before is I'd like you to be aware how your neck feels today, in the class, during the class, and after the class. So I like you to do an appropriate modification if needed that is safe for your neck. Now, I've prepared here a folded towel. You may or may not need it when you lie on the back to support your head, all right? So just have that available for you today and see if that feels more comfortable for your neck today or you feel fine just lying on the back without any support underneath your head. So I'm gonna put this on the side. All right, so let's take ourselves down to the floor. The best way for you to support the neck is to lie sideways, then turn your head, head on the floor and turn yourself onto your back and just readjust the position that you are lying supine, meaning lying on the back with the bent knee position and your feet are in parallel position and arms long by the side. All right, so making sure your feet are alive on the floor. What I meant is that your toes are spreading down and the arch of your feet are lifted off the floor and you feel the energy drawing towards the pelvis, up through your legs and into the pelvis. And have your pelvis in a comfortable position. We normally say neutral pelvis, but you know, what is appropriate for you today? All right, so it's another tucked up or it's another arching too far. So somewhere in between that is comfortable for you today. Arms are long by the side, 
most importantly is your chest is nice and open that we're not rounding the back forward or your shoulder forward. Let the tip of the shoulder just soften down to the floor and the arms are actively reaching to your feet. And there is a gap underneath your neck. So this is where your towel may be appropriate for you today if you do need that extra support to have that head slot lifted. Maybe, I don't know. So I'll let you to decide for yourself. Okay, so moving on, we're going to do our pelvic rocks and continue on with our pelvic curl. So we inhale. As we exhale, using that lower abdominal to imprint that lower back down to the floor and the bottom comes off. And as we inhale, we want to lengthen and stretch the pelvis away from the upper spine. We exhale, similar to what we did standing at the start of the class. Now we're doing it lying on our back. Let's do two more. Exhale. Really recruit your abdominal muscle to imprint the lower spine. Not necessarily your glute clenching to press the lower back down. So just, you know, have your hands in the back of your bottom and see if they're working too hard or if they're working just enough. And then release. Last one. Initiating from the abdominal. Inhale. Lengthen and stretch the pelvis away. Now let's take it further here to a pelvic curl. Exhale. Into imprint at lower back. Now I like you to peel the spine up. Ab is still working. Hamstrings are helping your spine to lift off the floor. Now this is where I need you to be quite careful. How far do you go up? Right. If you're starting to feel a lot of tension in your neck, I like you to drop down a little bit so you don't actually go to your full range. So this is the full range where you have the tip of the shoulders down, your upper back is on the floor. You're in a one beautiful straight line. Perhaps that range is not appropriate for you today, so I like you to drop it down a little bit. Maybe you just go as high as your middle back for today. And then exhale, we roll down again, stretching the spine away. Going back to your starting position. Again, exhale, deep ab curl, lifting up hamstring, lifting up, lifting up to an appropriate height for you today. In breath, find length through the spine. Exhale, lowering the spine down, bone by bone, joint by joint, all the way back to your starting position. Two more times. And exhale, we peel off, we lengthen up, we have the hamstring working, we have the abdominals working, your arms are working, your feet are anchoring down, pressing the big toe, inner thighs up. Really switch on here. Exhale, now lengthening the spine up. You want to think about the upper spine reaching out, or reaching up, and the lower spine lengthening down to the floor, reaching away from each other, and Come back down, last one. Exhale, we roll up, coming up, coming up, in breath. Exhale, we lengthen down, stretching the spine, articulating, and come back to that neutral pelvis for you today. All right, we're gonna stabilize the pelvis. Single leg lift, breath out. Let's take the leg closer to me, up to the tabletop. Really try to focus on getting that pelvis an absolute stability. Now we lower the leg down from the hip. Exhale, up. Inhale, exhale. Imagine you have a cup of tea resting on top the front of the pelvis. As you lower and lift the leg up, the cup of tea doesn't spill anywhere around the pelvis. We do two more. In breath, exhale. Work that deep corset muscle in the abdominal. Exhale, we stack. Now I'd like you to place your hands pressing against the thigh. Now I'd like you to stop that pressing down with the thigh at the same time. Take a knee breath. Exhale, we press and pull a stop on your thigh. Hold it here. You'll feel that obliques is working, engaging as you press and release. Two more times. Exhale. Now here. I like you to really press down with the heel of your palm, not with your fingertips. So heel of the palm, pressing down from the armpit area, 
and release. Last one. And release. Arms by the side, lower the leg down, change side. Stabilize the pelvis. So work with intention to stabilize the pelvis and lift the leg up and we lower. Exhale. Now, if you're feeling tense in your neck every now and then, I'd like you to maybe just gently turn your head to the side and side. Sometimes we can be a little overprotective about our injuries and we're actually creating a bit more tension than we actually have to do. So let's do two more times with the leg lift, down and up. Last one. And up, we stay, hands on the thigh, oblique squeeze, press down. Hold it with the thighs, stay five, four, three, two, one, and again. Press down, gentle reminder, elongate the neck away from the shoulder as you push down. Three, two, one, and last one. Press down, hold, three, two, one, and release the arm. Keep the leg up there. Let's move on to the leg changes. As we breathe out, we lift the opposite leg and bring the other leg down. And we switch. Again, constant reminder to keep the pelvis in absolute stability as we lower and lift the leg. And, and keep reaching the neck away from the shoulder and the arms towards the feet side. Two more sets. Last set, both legs at tabletop. Okay, another pressing down action with the arms. So I call this a TVA squeeze or engagement. We press down and we hold up with the thighs as we breathe out. Let's go. Press, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Two more times. Exhale, press. Five, four, three, two, one. Release, last one. We press. Five, four, three, two, one. And release. Squeeze the thighs together. Open your arms out to the T position. Okay, let's go into spine, twist your spine. Like you to rotate towards me first from the waistline. Legs going together as one unit as we inhale. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, anchor the shoulders. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath. Keeping the knees together all the time. Last one over to you. Come back to center, okay. And let's lower one foot down, second leg down. I'd like you to stretch the leg closer to me on the floor and reach the arms overhead here. Dorsiflex the foot, I want you to inhale, reach up overhead, reach down with the foot, stretch open that hip and release. One more time, inhale, reach up and down with the foot, and release, bring the foot in, switch. Extend the other leg, dorsiflex the foot. We're gonna reach up and lengthen down at the same time. And release, last one. Reach up and lengthen down. And release. All right, let's take the foot in here. Now keep the arms overhead. So bring the legs up, up against the tabletop, one. Hold the center, second leg up, two. Squeezing the thighs together. We breathe out, I like you to lift the arms up, straighten the legs up, and press the arms to the side of your hips. Bending the knees, arms overhead. So this is a modified hundreds. Inhale, bend, overhead. Now here, as we do this exercise, I like to invite you to be conscious about your rib cage. Can we keep that rib cage lengthening down as your arms go overhead? 
Exhale, stretch up. In breath, lengthen the arms, lengthen the ribs down, opposite direction. Exhale, in breath. One more, exhale, in breath, arms overhead. Now circle the arms out to the T position here. Lower the leg away from me. Straighten down on the floor. Stretch down the leg up to the sky. Dorsiflex. Ready for the leg circle across the body and down. And exhale. In breath. Stay parallel. Exhale. Inhale. Drop and we catch. Exhale. Last set. Inhale. Exhale. And stay. Other direction. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, in breath, exhale, last set, exhale, we stay, we point, we bend the knee, we grab the leg, we press that thigh to your chest while you reach the other leg away from you. Looking down to the knee, just to stretch the neck for a moment and release that. Foot down, arms out, bring the other foot in, stretch the first leg out, take it up to tabletop, extend, dorsiflex, and let's do it again. Across the body and down. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, last set. Exhale, and stay, other way, inhale. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, last set. Exhale, we stay, we point, we bend, grab the leg, press it down to your chest, reach the other leg down, opposite direction, look down to the knee. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, well done. Well, let's take that foot down. All right, let's bring the other leg in. Half the feet parallel position, arms long by the side. So I'm gonna do, or we're going to do a modified shoulder bridge here. So I like you to keep the spine in a, length, in a long straight line position. Now just lift the pelvis floating without any tucking up. Just literally lift the pelvis about a fist away off the floor, approximately, okay? So it's not so much loading on the upper back and on the neck here. Stabilize the pelvis. Now press the foot closer to me down on the floor. So you feel that hamstring engaging. Now stabilize the pelvis, take the other leg up to the tabletop position without taking the pelvis to a flexion or tucked up. So reach long here. Now we're going to stay in this position and hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Take the foot down, reestablish the pelvis position, stay long. Now press the other foot down, engage the hamstring, switch on the opposite abdominal and float that other leg up to the tabletop. Hopefully your pelvis hasn't twisted, hasn't dropped, and we stay in this position. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Take the foot down, reestablish the pelvis position, and lengthen down. Let's do that again. We float the pelvis up about a fist off the floor. Keep it long. Then the first leg comes up, up. Now here, remove that leg down, we tap. Exhale, it's a little bit more challenging here. Adding movement while maintaining, we're trying to maintain stability. Two more, reach the arms long. Last one here, foot comes down, reestablish the pelvis position, keep the pelvis lengthening out long towards the feet. And then let's switch the other leg up and we go. So hopefully you still have your pelvis nice and stable as you lift the other leg up and down and down. 
two more. Last one. Take the foot down, pelvis back to center, and come on down. Well done. Stretch the leg closer to me on the floor, arms overhead, and turn yourself facing me. Now you can also have that little towel underneath your head if you like to. Have your legs together, ready for the side lift. I like you to create a nice straight line from the toes to the tip of the hip. Now actively lift the weight, the bottom waistline up so we're not swaying down in the waist. Right, top arms to the floor, breath out, we lift. So a side flexion in the lower half of the spine and lengthen down as we in breath. Exhale, lengthen down as we in breath. Exhale. This is an oblique work. Exhale. Last one. Okay. Now bring the bottom leg in. I'll keep the top one extending, reaching out. Again, actively lift the bottom waistline out. I like it too. Top hand goes onto the top of the hip. Reach that pelvis away and try to keep that pelvis stable. Relax the foot, let's go some good work. So we go forward and we lift and down and back. We go exhale and inhale, exhale. Minimize the movement around the pelvis if possible and as much as possible. Not if possible, as much as possible. And back, three more forward, up, down and back. Two more, forward, up, down, and back. Last one, forward, up, down. All right, we'll take it forward here. We're gonna drop it and catch it for 20, and 19, 18, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Another 10. Inhale, five. Three, two, one. Bring it back and release down. Well done. Now switch the leg. Extend the bottom leg. Take the top leg over. Externally rotate the hip. A little ballerina position here. I like you to use the upper arm to press the thigh away and elongate the neck space. Now from here, let's lift the bottom leg up and down. So inner thigh is working here. And down. Exhale. And down. Always try to remind yourself, create space between your neck, sorry, between your jaw and your shoulder around the neck region here. Exhale. Let it breathe. Two more. Last one. Well done. All right. Top hand down. Press down. Help yourself up to a forearm position here. There are two options of doing this. You can join me in this position. We're going to do some side bridge or you can have your legs together like so. All right. Now, straighten the bottom leg if you're joining me in this position. Elongate yourself away. And I really want you to activate this armpit girdle area, pressing down the forearm, pulling up in that chest, pressing down with the top arm against the thigh. Then we lift up. Neck is long, try not to break it. And then down. So again, if this is too challenging for you, go ahead and bend both knees. We're still working the obliques as we lift the pelvis up. Two more, exhale. Come down, neck is long, gaze to me. And, and release, awesome. Release the leg, lift yourself up, and let's switch to the other side. Starting with the side lift. Find your straight line. Top hand in front of you. We breathe out, we reach the leg. In breath, exhale, lengthen out, exhale. 
two more. Last one here. Okay, let's take the bottom knee forward. Place the top hand here. Again, actively lift the bottom waist up, relax the top foot. We'll go forward. Exhale. Inhale down. Back. Exhale. Inhale down. Back. Exhale. And two more. Last one. We go forward. We're going to drop it and lift it up. Down. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Another set. We lift. We reach it back. We lower and switch the leg. Extend the bottom. Top leg over. Externally rotate the thigh. Top arm pressing against the thigh. All right. Again, actively lift the bottom waistline. We lift the leg up. We lengthen down. We lift up. We lengthen down. Again. Stay parallel as much as you can. Two more. Last one. And release. Okay. Help yourself up. Top arm here. Gently press the arms down. Help yourself up for that side bridge. Again, if you did it with both knees in bent position, go ahead and do the same way. Or come and join me in this position. Again, neck is lengthening away. Gaze is forward. Not to the corner, not to the floor, not to the ceiling. We breathe out, press down, activate that armpit girdle, pulling away off the floor, and lengthen down. Exhale. To realize I'm calling it lengthening down because I don't want you to drop down. I want you to reach away from the crown of the head as you lower the pelvis. So resist gravity. Two more. Exhale. Lengthen and reaching out. Last one. Exhale. Well done. Okay. Let it go. Extend the legs. Turn onto your front for some back extension work here. Okay. So I'd like you to have your arm by the side with the bent elbows. Elbows down to the floor. Tuck your toes under behind you, just for a moment. I'd like you to really try to think about reaching your sitting bone towards the heels and engaging the hamstring in this position. Pick up that lower abs, the head is floating, your neck is an absolutely long position. Then release the ankles, press the toes down. Okay, now here, we inhale, gliding the shoulder blades down to the mid back. And I want you to lift the upper back up to an extension. Now, taking care that you don't use so much of your arm to push up, but really try to recruit the back muscle to lift up in that extension position and that your neck is still long and your gaze is still down towards the floor. Exhale, return back. Inhale, gliding the shoulder blades, reaching the spine up, gentle with the arms. Exhale, we lower down. Inhale, lengthen the sitting bone down, reach the back up. Exhale. Two more times, inhale. So you feel that middle back working to support your cervical spine, your neck spine area. Exhale, and inhale, lift, and let's stay here. I like you to float the arms up, so loading that middle back. Extend the arms by the side, stretch the arms, hands facing to your thigh, and then lower everything down. Inhale, reach down, lift up like a rocket. Exhale. 
Your feet are firmly placed down on the floor as you lift the upper back up and down. Two more times here. In breath, we lift. Gaze, as gaze is still on the floor. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. We lift, we lift. Exhale, we come down. All right, bring the forearm by the side of the shoulders again. Now, pressing the forearm down as you lift the abdominal off the floor, push yourself to a rest position. Sitting the bottom down, reaching the arms long. And walk your hand towards the knees and help yourself up. Roll yourself to a seated position. Okay, we don't have many exercises left, so let's have a sit. Face the front of your mat. I like you to sit tall. Now, perhaps you may have to bend the knees because of some flexibility issue, but if you can straighten the legs, let's go ahead, dorsiflex the feet. But what most important is you can you are able to hold the spine in a tall position, not in a flexion position. Perhaps you want to sit on a pillow or on a cushion to help you elevate the pelvis. Okay, now back is straight, hands in front of you, opening the shoulder. Let's go for the spine twist. To me, please. Exhale. In breath, exhale. In breath, exhale. In breath, exhale. Gaze is still in front, in the middle of the chest. Exhale. 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 Last set, exhale. Last one, exhale. And center. Let it go. Bend the knees. Feet down. Now, <clears throat> grab your hands underneath the thigh. Anchor and nail those feet down on the floor. Lift the spine tall here. Inhale. I like you to hinge back in a straight back, opening the front of your hips. Exhale. Come up right. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale. You notice that my gaze is still forward. I'm not looking down because I don't want my cervical, my neck to flex down to follow my gaze. I'd like you to keep the gaze forward so that your neck can stay nice and long. And inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now here, take your arms forward. Inhale, can we lean back? If this is too challenging for you, please place your hands back on your thigh. Now if you can have your hands here, fold your arms to here. Now keeping that spine in nice straight position, let's add some rotation. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Do not break that back into flexion. Exhale. We rotate through the axis of the spine. Exhale. If that's too challenging for you, place your hands here and we twist. Center. We twist. Center. So we're working the obliques here. Center. And the back extends this. Center. Exhale. Last one. Come back. Arms in front or the thighs. Bring yourself up and release. All right, cross the leg. Go to a quadruped position. Align the heel of the palm and the shoulder, knees and the center of the hip. Now, some scapula gliding, I like you too. Release the chest down to the floor. So you glide the shoulder blades towards each other. Then you're gonna push the floor and spread them out. And then we bring the shoulder blades together and then press them out. So we are working on our rhomboid muscles between the shoulder blades so we can hold our neck placement. 
in a more appropriate placement. And hope that the pain will slowly diminish and press out. Two more. Down and then press out. Last one. And then press out. Now find a placement halfway between those two range and that will be somewhat your neutral placement. Again, your gaze is still down to the floor. I like you to, as you inhale, expand the rib cage, exhale, lift the abdominal muscle and work that corset muscle, the deep TVA muscle, and hold this upper spine placement. And again, in breath, exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, adding a little bit more challenge, tuck the toes under. Exhale, recruit that deep abdominal muscle. Do not lose that shoulders placement. Now press the feet down, float the knees off the floor slightly. We stay. Five. Keep that arms nice and strong. Four. Shoulders nice and open. Neck is in absolutely long position. Gaze is down to the floor. Last breath. Release the knee down. Relax the ankle. Bring the pelvis to the heels and rest your forehead down for your rest position. We stay in this position as we inhale. Expand the rib catch, exhale, feeling that lift in the abdominal muscle towards the spine. Inhale, your arms are still active here. Exhale. And last one. Exhale. Walk your hand closer to your shoulder and support your body as you roll yourself up to the starting position, sitting nice and tall, gaze is in front of you, neck is long, and just observe how your spine is feeling. Now, at the end of the class, turn your head towards me, back to center, gently, onto the other side. First, lightly to the sky, if that's available to you. And slightly to the floor if that's available to you. And deep inhalation with me. And just let it all go out. All right. And you are done for the day. So observe how your neck's feeling now, today, perhaps tomorrow. And write a comment below. I'd like to hear how you're feeling from this class. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you another class. Have a great day. Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoy this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.